Hello and welcome to Manga Tour 96 and today we're going to talk about Classroom of the Elite. Today's topic will be the two members of Class C who couldn't be more different. It won't be a cruel and sadistic leader who enjoys bullying the weak but immediately cowers when faced with someone superior to him, with the other one not enjoying inflicting violence on others despite having the capabilities to do so. I'm of course talking about Kakeru Ryuen and Miyu Ibuki. But before we start, here's the spoiler warning, as we spoil a lot of things in this video, so if you don't want to be spoiled, I would highly recommend that you go and read the light novel, as it is an enjoyable read. For everyone else, let's start with who Mio is. Mio Ibuki is a student of class 1C. Not only does she possess excellent academic qualities, but her physical abilities is also not to be underestimated. She is skilled in combat, having the knowledge of several martial arts that can rival those of many martial artists. She rather prefers acting alone to socializing, which is one of the reasons why she is often isolated in her class. Unlike her peers, she doesn't seem to enjoy the violence inflicted to others as shown when she flinched after Ryuen smashed a glass bottle on the head of Daichi or when Albert was ordered to beat Daichi and the others for the failure in attempting to get Kensudo expelled. She made it clear that she disapproved of their cruelty and wanted them to stop their actions. She doesn't like being insulted as demonstrated when she told of Ryuen for treating her like a plaything when he made advances on her. She appears to not like being pitted either as shown when she angrily slapped away the hand of Kiyotaka despite him trying to help her up after she was knocked to the ground. Due to her time with Ryuen, she has come to accept mistrust or deception and even accusation towards herself. She told off Kiyotaka and his group to leave her alone when they inquired about her. However, she is capable of being surprised, like when people actually give her the benefit of the doubt, shown as she was caught off guard when Kiyotaka stated he trusted her after some panties were stolen from the girl's tent during the Iceland exam. She was so shocked at his belief in her that she nervously blushed while thanking him for it. She was also seen curious when Kikyo and Haruki commented on how incredibly close Horikita and Kiyotaka were lately. She is very deceptive as it turned out she infected the D-class to steal the key card from Suzune while she was cleaning herself off, despite the class showing her kindness by taking her in and providing food and other necessities. She showed no remorse in stealing the card, even defeating Suzune in a fight. As for her relationship with Kiyotaka, the two first met on the school cruise where he witnessed her being knocked down by Albert after being shunned by Ryuen. Kiyotaka proceeded to help her up but she angrily slaps away his hand telling him to stay out of her business before running off. They met again during the survival test where he found her hurt for unknown reasons, even finding himself stopping Haruki from approaching her due to having suspicion about her, but soon says it was nothing as they offered her to help by letting her come to their base camp. Though she refuses help from the enemy class, she accepts their offer and returns to their camp but makes it clear she isn't trying to be friendly with them. After the panty thief incident, Mio later talks with Kiyotaka, asking if he believes she was responsible for it, but he says that he knows she didn't do it, to her surprise. He states that while the other students in his class don't trust her, he does, which causes her to blush and nervously thank him for having belief in her. She was also seen curious as she glanced back from behind when Kikyo and Haruki commented on how incredibly close Susan and Kiyotaka have gotten lately. After the survival test, it is revealed that Kiyotaka knew she was a spy and he outsmarted her by using various tactics which helped his class pass the test. In the light novel, both her and Kiyotaka were seen together wearing casual looking clothes and heading for a fortune teller. When he revealed he was the mastermind of D-class, she disbelieved him as she considered him to be a simply nice guy but was shocked to learn that it was the truth after he revealed that he was the one who sabotaged her plans in the survival test. She was further shocked when seeing him take down Albert and Daichi with ease by beating them down, becoming speechless at his abilities. She similarly charged at him as she ignored her question about him being D-class manipulator and she soon admitted she couldn't believe it was him before she was instantly beaten and knocked out cold by Kiyotaka with no problem, making him victorious over her. In their next meeting, things are really awkward since Mio is now aware of his abilities and intellect while unable to understand his logic. After her relationship with Ryuen, 
For unknown reasons, Mio is always by his side as one of his followers. However, it is clear she doesn't enjoy the pain he inflicts on others as shown when she flinched after he smashed a glass bottle on the head of Dachi or when he had Albert beat Dachi and the others for the failure in getting Ken expelled. On the cruise, she angrily confronted him and made it clear that she couldn't stand nor approve of the cruelty and wanted them to stop their actions. She also doesn't tolerate him ignoring her words or treating her like a plaything when he made advances on her. After he tried to leave, she called out to him but Albert intervened and Mio was angry and disappointed that they manipulation him into being his pawn before Albert threw her down and Kakeru grinned at her pain. It appears this is merely an act to get D-Class to believe Mio dislikes their ways as since the survival test Ryuan had Mio hurt to ensure she sneaks into their camp and discards their leader. She even apologizes for letting him down but he shrugs it off as there was someone in D-Class who deceived them. Moving on to Ryuen. Kakeru Ryuen is the class representative of class 1C who is known for being an infamous delinquent and he does not let his class by trust but rather by fear. He has a group of henchmen who do his dirty work which contributes to his fearsome reputation. He is a blameworthy and reprehensible person who loves causing trouble for others as seen when he and his gang purposely caused conflict with Ken Sudo and wanted to expel him. He also possesses a sadistic nature as shown when he looked as if he was going to attack the vulnerable Ken after his men held him down only to instead flick him on the head while laughing at his fear. He was very ruthless as he took a glass bottle and hit one of his followers to the head with it, showing no remorse after the fact. This and many other actions shows that he is willing to use followers for any goal as he sees fit to achieve his purpose of controlling the school and enjoying himself. He is also shown to be insubordinate and disrespectful to certain characters as shown when he spoke with Susan Horikita and Mio Ibuki even having Albert throw the letter down after telling her to come to his room. Despite his intimidating and dangerous appearance, Ryuen is secured in his own way of thinking as he was quick to cover his tracks by telling Honomi Ichinoza even when she witnessed that even by declaring that it was out of self-defense. He would come up with many unexpected strategies such as when he and one of his followers attack another injured follower who failed to his task to frame Ken Sudo for assault and get him expelled. He also chose not to pick a fight with class 1A when the presence of Manobu Horikita, the student council president and knows that he isn't capable at the moment to take on Arisu Sakayanagi. In the light novel he is shown great fear of Kiyotaka after the latter viciously attacked him. This incident caused him to note how shaken he was from it and how it was a first for him. Also, he is embarrassed by Rukus and Koenji for nicknaming him Dragon Boy, which causes Ariso to make fun of him by repeating it. Despite his ruthless nature, he does seem to care for his class. For instance, he approached Hiyori Shina as he was worried about her for always being alone. He also treats her as an indispensable ally in the class and is one of the people he truly respects. As for his relationship with Kiyotaka. In the light novel, Ryuen begins to think that someone else besides Suzanne is pulling the strings behind D-Class and sets out to find the mysterious person. He then hears rumors about Honomi's suspiciously asserting a colossal amount of pride points which was later revealed to be legally obtained by her. This was spread as a means for Kiyotaka to trap him. Catching on this, Ryuen decides to play along in order to find out the true mastermind of D-Class. In volume 7, when he and his gang took K, Kyotaka read and confirmed he was indeed the mastermind of his class and Ryuen recognized him as the student who was always associating with Suzune and realized he did it to hide under the radar. When he continued to violently treat K, this angered Kyotaka to the point that he violently attacked his followers for it, which proved that Kyotaka was and has the pedigree to be D-class mastermind. Ryuen was then attacked by Kiyotaka and attempted to fight back only to be easily overpowered by the latter who continued to violently trash him, to the point that Ryuen was considered broken. In desperation he tried to provoke him into giving in to his rage but was greatly frightened as he saw the lack of anger and emotion in Kiyotaka's attacks. He realized it was the first time he ever experienced true intense fear of another person. After his loss, Ryuen attempted to drop out out of school only to learn that Kiyotaka covered for him by telling his followers of his plans to leave. 
This prompted Albert and Daichi to attempt to do the same, as Ruin, who was now upset with Kiyotaka's intervention and gave up on dropping out after being put in a delicate position. This also allowed him to continue leading his class. Kiyotaka's victory over him greatly humbled him, and now he has a newfound respect for his rival. He was greatly perplexed as to why Kiyotaka would do such a thing for a delinquent like him and even went out of his way to talk to him after the ordeal. He isn't afraid to voice his loss against Kiyotaka with others such as Kohei and made it a point to win against him someday. Even in the midst of an exam, he was willing to drop out after Ariso offered a deal and asked for his assistance to help save Kiyotaka from explosion, in turn risking his class standing to drop. As for his relationship with Hiyori. Not much is known about their relationship except that he seems to trust her. She acts as an advisor to him and so he treats her with respect not showing to his other classmates. He greatly values her worth and intelligence she brings to the class and cares for her to a certain degree. She doesn't agree with how he runs the class but doesn't go out of her way to go against him. She does not associate with him more than necessary, on the condition that he wouldn't bother her during her private leisure time. With this, I covered everything that I wanted to cover on Iboki and Ryuen. And that will be all for this video. If you liked this video, leave a like, leave your thoughts in the comments below, or subscribe to the channel for more manga reviews and One Piece content. And until next time, take care.